Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jin Toe. I think I found the deadliest build in NBA 2K21. Honestly, this build looks pretty promising. It's not as deadly as the builds in 2K15 and 16. Definitely not as deadly as the build in 2K17. And definitely not as deadly as the build in 2K19. But take a look at these pie charts real quick, and I really want you guys to pay attention to something. I've seen a lot of people with their My Player Builders, their creations, they actually neglected finishing. I'm actually taking a look at finishing because if you know my playstyle, you know you gotta attack the rim. If you're gonna be Marcus Cento, you wanna have a Goldbrook build. And there's two builds right here, two pie charts right here that I'm looking at. There's a 77 driving dunk pie chart, which gives you an 83 mid and an 81 three-point shot. Then there's this 80 driving dunk pie chart, which gives you an 81 and 79 pie chart. One thing I'm going to tell you guys right off rip, I will be maxing out wingspan because this year when you increase your wingspan, you get a higher driving dunk rating. So I'm looking at this 77 driving dunk build since I'm not going to have that much of a hit on my shooting. But wait, before we go any further, guys, take a look at this. Builds like this are also promising. I get a 74 driving dunk, but my shooting rating is higher. So if I max out my wingspan, I could probably get like a 78 driving dunk. I'm not gonna be able to get contact dunks, but at least I can dunk and I'm gonna be able to shoot. I'll be pretty deadly. This right here is giving me vibes of that offensive threat that we kicked off 2K20 with. I think there's one more build that I was looking at. This one right here. Nah, it's this one right here. The 91 mid, 89 three-point shot. This one right here really, really looks promising because, again, you're not going to be able to get contact dunks unless you get that 80 driving dunk pie chart but this right here you'll be able to shoot should be able to break ankles and you can dunk if you need to like you can do everything and you can play defense so i'm really looking at this one as an all-around build honestly that's this might be the one there are some defensive builds that are also pretty promising but if i'm gonna make a defensive build this year it's gonna have to be a small forward so i'm gonna take a look at this build right here first guys because it looks like it's all around let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see those other pie charts because uh 2k21 is right around the corner i think we're like a few days away and i'm gonna go for at least three finishing and i'm thinking i can get playmaking and shooting I don't think I've gotten those before in 2K20. Oh wait, wrong thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for at least six defensive badges. Gotta be 6'5", and I'm gonna go with the lowest weight again. A new feature, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you lower your weight in NBA 2K21, your speed goes up this year. At first it was just acceleration. Yeah, so my driving dunk caps at 69 with this build. I should be able to dunk, but if you look at my shooting compared to the others, I am deadly. One thing you don't want to do is go with the minimum wingspan this year because you're hurting your, uh, your driving dunk. But I mean, hey, if you don't plan on dunking anyway, you might as well just make like a sharpshooter build. So yeah, I'm gonna go with an 85.1 wingspan. Now the thing I'm not too sure of is my takeover. I think I might just go with sharp because my ball handle is an 81. I don't think I'm gonna be breaking ankles anyway. So really this build looks pretty deadly guys. I'm going with the sharp takeover. A playmaking shot creator, Steph Curry, Steve Nash, Jamal Murray. Oh, don't even pay attention to the to the number. I just put anything to make this build, just to see how this build can play. Slap that like button one time, and I honestly forgot to do my face scan. I'm gonna do that in the next creation. But I need to see how this build plays. Everything else can wait. Oh, and another thing I could have done is I probably could have got at least 19 to 20 playmaking, but uh, you guys get the idea of how this build is gonna be. I'm not gonna make like an official official like this is guaranteed gonna be the one 
but uh let's just see what we can do gotta have catch and shoot green machine range extender right off rip let's get a little volume shooter up there i see people using hot zone hunter in the in the prelude you don't have any hot spots that's a waste difficult shots i kind of want to try it out this year but if it's like 2k20 it's probably gonna be trash oh look at this build look at the downsides of this build wow you don't get another wow what a buzz kill wow great build but you do not get anything else for hall of fame so i might end up just trying this build out but then i'm gonna definitely try out my finishing builds that i've seen that look pretty promising i mean with all these on gold they look good they really do look good uh gotta have clamps intimidator and that's it really my jump shot let's go with the old reliable could go with clay thompson deadly is 3.0 pretty much i got speed oh yeah a build like this with speed that can attack inside that's really all you can ask for but i attack inside so much i'm thinking i might as well lean towards that finishing pie chart anyway but with the pie chart like this that doesn't get like anything else besides shooting you might as well make that sharp i got a little bit of dribble moves on me One thing I didn't really see in the last episode was the jump shot. But I I just like scoring, so if I get that wide open look on the inside, I'm taking it. I'm not going to force anything. Talk about forcing something. Nice playoff P. Oh, wait a minute. See right there. Maybe I should have got slippery off ball. Trying to get open. A lot of my open looks come from the inside anyway. Like, look at this. I wanted to see a dunk right there. How are you guys enjoying the NBA 2K21 demo? Wish we would have got some more out of it. Like, allow us to try out the, the park a little bit, like 2K18. Even though it was against the bots, the CPU, that was pretty cool at the time. Why not? That's ooh, that's early. That was slow, man. If only we can try out the speed, like the extra fast jump shots, just to see how things would look. Get that! Wow, we almost didn't get that. So, like as you guys see, a lot of my points are gonna come from the inside anyway. So, I feel like this year is just all about your play style. Like, are you going to be an outside scorer? Oh, wait a minute. See, look at this. Look at this. I wanted to get my shot in, but he got his green, so I'm not even mad. Or what? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm getting steals. I'm getting steals with this build. You got to foul me, boy. I'll take that. I can get rebounds even without rebound chaser. Yeah, I'm in there. I'm in there. You see the cut? To be an outside scorer, I'm going to definitely need a higher ball handle. That's just me. I'm going to try to break some ankles. Maybe I can get a build like that. Like, he is on me heavy. See, I'm a scoring machine on the inside. It's just the outside scoring. It's like, damn, can I get some breathing room? Oh, that's early. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I speak too soon? Who doesn't like draining some of those threes? Oh, I'm getting green. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think a green. I need my shooting at Hall of Fame, and I think I need to have my finishing on Hall of Fame. That's my play style.
But damn though. This build would be perfect if it wasn't for that. If only you can get one more Hall of Fame. In the hoop for his ah. Four of seven shooting and looking for more. He's just absolutely taking advantage of the team. Another green? Oh my, yeah, yeah, guys. I think I found the build. This might be at least for Park or something. This build can't go to waste. This build is sweet. If I get one more green in a row. Oh, and of course, because I have Hall of Fame green machine, but still. <sighs> it's still winning at the buzzer. <laughs> Yo, this build is a scoring machine. Oh, I got to try out the other one because this might be the one, guys. This might be the one, but it's hard because you don't get any other Hall of Fame. Down in the comments, does that matter? The way I'm lighting these boys up, does that matter? Like, I'm not really breaking ankles anyway. I don't need Hall of Fame ankle breaker or anything like that. Maybe with the finishing... Some extra badges towards finishing might do me some justice since I'm going to be attacking the rim a lot anyway. Look at this. They're just leaving me wide open inside. That's what I do. Come on. You know what time it is. Ah, the moving shot. It's still winning. This build is shooting lights out. And it can actually drive a little bit. I have so many playmaking badges. Uh-oh. This is what I want to see. What's up with this takeover? Oh, it's green with the takeover. My first shot with the takeover to green. Bruh. How can you not like this build? It's going to be hard. I'm enjoying this build. Like, I'm having fun with it. I think at the end of the day, you want to make a build you're going to have fun with. Because it's going to hold you over until next gen. And hopefully, that's when all the real pie charts come out. You know I'm a cheese with the threes. Oh, that's slate. Oh, 35% contested. Yeah, they're playing heavy on me now. See, I'm getting that inside. You can play tight on me all you want. I like this build, guys. It's just that it doesn't have another set of Hall of Fame badges attached to it. That's the only thing that's stopping me from saying, yep, this is the one. That's green. You can't leave this build open at all, boy. 55-73. Oh, and a green release in the corner like a prostitute. Yeah. I think it's clear. This bill can shoot for sure. So you get a high 80, you're going to be deadly. That's why I'm like, yo. If I get my shooting in like the 78-79 range. Will I still be deadly? Don't be slightly less deadly compared to this, but I mean, at least I get extra Hall of Fame badges. That'll make up for it. And I'm still going to be able to hit my shots. Like, look at this. You leave me that wide open. How can you not drain that? And if this game's anything like 2K, well, I don't even know why I should ask that. But slashers were like insane in 2K20. I didn't dunk anything this game. So I don't know if I'm going to make that with the finishing pie chart and then choose finishing takeover. But yeah, if it's like 2K20, why not? You'll still get like a boost to your shooting, like a plus five instead of a plus 10. But then you get that crazy boost to your dunks. Look at this. See what I mean? Every single time they leave me wide open, it's a green release. It's too deadly. Yo, look at this, the double team. Look at the double team. They're nervous right now. Then I got the Gatorade symbol. Look at this. That's perfect. 
but I didn't dunk it though. So this build is cool, but if you can't dunk it anyway, maybe making the pure sharp might be the way to go, but I like this. I like this build for sure, man. This build definitely gets a thumbs up from your boy Gento. 50 points, eight rebounds. I did not go for any assists. I'm trying to see what this build can do. Not what my teammates can do. Get that out of here, boy! Then you get the Gento Matumbo. That's the cherry on top for this build. Down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Slap that like button if you want to see the next build in action. But I'm definitely impressed with the way this build turned out. Especially shooting. I don't want to pull up and brick a lot. But then again, this is low difficulty. When you know your boy Gento runs that My Career series on Hall of Fame. Things are going to be a little different. So subscribe for more NBA 2K21 gameplay. Thanks for watching.